I'm with uh, Justin Cag Gagnon at, uh, of Will, and we talked to Will at the CSUN Assistive Technology Conference many years ago. You make some interesting wheelchairs, right? Yeah, we do. So the model that we're looking at right here is our model CI, and we launched it at CES last year um, and won a Best in Innovation Award for it. Um, it's really unique. Just the style of it, I think, is pretty eye-catching. Most people um, gravitate to it just because of the way that it looks. So we're doing audio and video and audio podcast. So describe what it looks like. Oh, sure. So um, a lot of people say it looks a lot like Professor Xavier's wheelchair. That's, we get that a lot. Um, our first model, the Model A, we don't have it here today. It was actually featured in the Batman vs. Superman movie. Oh, wow. Um, so very futuristic looking. Um, really I remember it had lines. great big wheels. Yeah, the wheels are a little bit bigger than these ones. Um, but These look really... Uh, Look at that wheel over there, Steve, but they're, um, I don't even know how to describe that. It's a bunch of little tiny sure. circles yeah, so around the wheel. We call it our, the Omni wheel because it's omnidirectional. It really can go in any direction. Oh. And it's made up of 24 individual rollers, so it can go, if you, if you look at it closely, how it just kind of glides, oh, so the bottom yeah. rollers will, will roll sideways. Okay, without but, the need for like a caster that turns. Right, so there's no there's no turning mechanism on this at all. Exactly, yeah. Oh wow, that's so cool. The the big benefit for that is you can have both your feet planted between the wheels without casters having that to turn that often bump or hit your, your feet or your ankles when you're trying to when you're trying to turn like a traditional power wheelchair. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So now, what's uh, I see the words automated up here. What's automated about it? Sure. So, well, this version has uh, an app, and you can drive it using your uh, your phone by is downloading. Is that just to mess with your friend in the wheelchair? You get the app and you just drive <laughs> them around in circles. It is. What? It is fun to see people's reaction when you do it. But there are a few practical um, uses for it as well. Um, people who can transfer themselves onto a couch or onto a chair. Uh, but don't want to have it sitting, have this device sitting next to them when oh, they're. Oh, they can you know, drive it away. They can, oh, you know, move yeah. it to the corner of a room. I'm um, even getting into bed at night, and they can move it out of the out of the room and then bring it back to themselves in the morning. Oh, that's fantastic! Um, yeah. So that's this version. The version that we're launching here at CES this year is an autonomous-driven version. So it'll drive itself. It'll avoid bumping into people. It'll avoid bumping into walls. Um, oh. and driven through an app as well. So in the app, do you say, you know, I want to be down three doors and over to the left? Pretty much. It drives you there? Yeah, pretty much. So the, the version that we're launching, that we've already launched, um, and we're test piloting right now, is in airports. So airports oh, are really excited yeah. about it. So essentially you can say, you know, go to gate C28, and it'll just take you right to that gate and avoid, you know, the people and obstacles in yeah, its Yeah, and way. then all the able-bodied people are going to want it too, because I can't find gate C8. <laughs> yeah, we, we have heard that quite a bit, actually. Yeah. I bet. It's got, uh, it's got headlights on the front of it too? Yeah, so those are actually sensors, so the stereo camera sensors on the front, um, and then there's a LiDAR sensor on the back, and that's really how it autonomously drives itself to avoid, you know, people or obstacles in the way. So you would sell that to businesses? Yeah, that's like, definitely like the, airports. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. definitely our first model. Mm -hmm. um, airports are really excited about it. We've had conversations with entertainment venues and museums and malls and um, theme parks. Um, and there's a lot of people who are maybe even not always in a wheelchair, but airports are huge. Yes. You know, my father-in-law can walk, but an airport is beyond his ability to walk that far. He can't yes. do it, right? Yeah, exactly. And it, it's really too. Uh, help the airport out as well. What what a lot of airports are telling us is people that are, you know, in that same type of a scenario, asking for wheelchair push service, just because of the distance that, that they have to travel. Yeah, where yeah. this, and it also allows people to be independent as they travel through the airport. They don't, you know, you're not getting pushed by somebody that. Oh yeah, you know, you the feel psychology like you're being of that. Yeah. and yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, Okay, so uh, the wheel, uh, this wheel model, what is this new one called? CI. The yeah, CI, the huh? Model CI. It's been a, out for a year now. Uh -huh. So it's commercially available. You can buy it in the U.S., in, in a few different countries, in Asia and in Europe as well. It does look very small. Does that actually fit in your uh, Prius there, or what? You know what, it does. And I can show you how that works. Okay. So it comes apart in three pieces, really quite simply. There's a latch under the seat. So you just unlock you that the latch. latch there. And pull the top off. Oh wow! We just took the seat off. Now we can see into the mechanism here. Yeah, and there's this little lever right here that you pull back, and that flips back. 
And the front... Oh, it's now in three pieces. Yeah, the front drive and the back drive separate from themselves? Yeah, that would fit in your Prius. Yeah, and there's... That's how my brother measures wheelchairs, is okay. would it fit in his Prius, right? Yeah, there you go. We actually have YouTube videos showing different um, combinations of how it can fit in different trunks, because, you know, different trunks are different depths and widths and stuff. So, yeah, right. we've, uh, we have a four or five different scenarios there. Well, that's very cool. So if people wanted to learn more about Will, where would they go? Go to our website, will.us. That's probably the best place to get the most information. And that's W-H-I-L-L. Correct, yes. Dot U-S? Right. Yes, dot U-S. Um, and there's contact us form on there. There's phone number, so you can definitely reach out to us and through social media as well. We're can I ask how much this costs? Sure, this one here retails for $39.99, so just under $4,000. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Nice to talk to you again. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for stopping by.